it's time! So welcome back again to the channel. How are you guys doing? See you again by the Coco once again with another interesting video. I'm a mom of two boys in Lagos, Nigeria. Mom of two beautiful girls. Like two beautiful girls. There's no way I'll enter with my girls and they'll not be like, oh your girls are too cute, your girls are too beautiful. And my head will just be <coughs> I know, I know. <coughs> Anyways, I I've been asked a lot of questions concerning their heads. A lot of questions on this channel I've been trying as much as possible as much as I could to reply in the comment but then I, but then again I'm like why not make a video on this and it will be clearer for those people that because how many people are you going to reply how many people will you respond to okay so I'm the, that is why that is the essence of this whole video okay I, I want to give you guys details of how I'm able to maintain my girls head like their hair, their hair are giving me joy, especially Zita's hair. Zita's hair is, I've seen a lot of women that ah, have had how many boys, they need a girl child, they want a girl child. Um, if you ask them why, they'll be like, ah, I want a girl child that can make their hair, I want a girl child that will can match mini me, who can match outfits together. There must be a reason why they want girl child. 99% of women with girl child want their girl child to be able to make their hair. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this this is just my observation. First of all, my kids are blessed with hair. Like they were blessed with hair. Zara came with hair, full hair. Her hair, round afro, full hair. Same with Zita. They all the both of them came with full hair. So, which was very, very exciting for me. Me and me on the other hand, I have very full hair. Like when I walk into a salon with my corn roll, they are, they are just like, and they just lose a corn roll. But after losing it, the hair is like, boom, all over the place. And they're like, wow, I don't really have this full hair. So yeah, I have full hair. Despite the fact that the more I'm giving birth, the hair, the more, <sighs> the hair just running away. Like, I gave birth to Zara, I, I experienced hair loss. I gave birth to Zite, I, I'm experiencing hair loss again. So, I don't know. They are packing the hair for me, but which is fine. It's okay. It's okay for me as long as they can, as long as they have it, it's fine. If there is any woman that doesn't like her child, a girl child, to be able to make her hair, in hundred percent, it's just one percent of them, just one percent of that woman that do not want their girl child to be able to make hair. So, I myself, I loved to be able to. I love. I love to be able to make my girl's hair like. Put all those beads, shine, shine, and they're looking more, more present. I'm not saying that children on low cut. I'm not looking presentable. You guys, don't quote me wrong. I'm just saying that I feel with the beads, it makes them look more girly and cute. That that's just what I'm saying. Okay. The I saw the hair, I told myself, mm -mm, we are not cutting one year old hair. No, we are not doing that because in the place where I come from is, I don't know. Well, I say mandatory, I don't think it's mandatory, but it's advisable for you to cut the one the, the hair that the baby came to the to the world with. I don't know how they used to say it. That they should cut that baby's hair. So, but when I saw Zara's hair, I said, ah, I feel the people that cut their hair, their baby's hair, those people that maybe their hair are not good, back is longer than front or one side. Like, I don't know if you guys if I don't know if I'm making sense. So when I saw her hair, her hair was very, very fine, like so fine. I will insert a picture. So fine, my baby was giving. Even there was a time we actually went for one modeling shoot, but then they did not pick us, which is fine. So my baby was just give you one. Her hair was so fine, so cute. Along the line, one year past, she was still having her hair in hair, and I made I made a huge mistake very huge mistake and I will not like any woman, any mother to try out this mistake do not make this same mistake that I did that spoils my Zara's head so that mistake aside I will still get into that so when I, when she was growing the hair was just giving me joy if I carry her anywhere, her hair was full if I carry her anywhere, where people like oh your baby has hair, your baby's hair is fine your baby hair is this, your baby hair is that until my baby got to one year and three months and I decided to go and introduce a routine will be past me. <laughs> that was the end for me. The ah Jesus, that was just the end for me. 
disclaimer this is not a sponsored video i'm not coming here to mount any product i'm just saying my, i'm just giving my own experience from what i experienced from this product i'm going to list i'm going to mention okay so you know your first issue they will, you are like i have this phobia phobia like they're telling me ah anyway i hear ah this product works i run and come back anyway i hear ah this product works i run and come back but the first product i got right was Cantu. you guys Cantu destroyed my baby Cantu products because I got ranging from the shampoo down to the coils uh, because she has coils down to the coils uh, how did they even enhance her how did they even used to call the name I got every bit of their product and that was when my problem started initially the hair started having this cold wax feeling like javelé javelé I don't know but like this cold wax feeling the shining, the shining that hair is supposed to be shining is no longer there. Everything just the hair started experiencing dryness, it was dryness going on, breakage. It got to a point that Zara's hair, the front was longer than the back. All her back hair gone. Like all the back hair gone. Remaining the front. Which was which never happened. Okay. So I in fact, I complained to a lot of people, they were like, keep using it, keep using it, it's just getting, it will get better. But instead of getting better, it was getting worse, worse and worse. Until my baby got to a year and five months, yes. A year and six months, because it was December, yes. A year and six months, I just had to like, okay, no, I can't continue like this. Let me just wait, after this December, I will go and cut the hair. January, I went and cut her hair. I cut the hair, and I started training her hair myself i was not using any because i realized that the mistake i used was using too much product so that should be one thing you should never do to your girl child hair do not use too much product the only one i could remember because Kanto was the one i went all out for i went and get all all the um product from ranging from every bit of fit like to the last bit of it i got all of them i made use of kui i made use of um even organics, cheese because can't to stay spoiling the hair, so I switched to organic. It, it was just worse, 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 worse. Ah, <sighs> so please try not to make use of too much products. I feel like the too much product I introduce, even the coil enhancer, even the the tangler, even the bobo tibo, it was just a lot. There were a lot of things. Even the shiny mist. They said the shiny mist, I was still going to spread. I felt they were all too much on her hair and instead, I don't know, that, that is my own feeling. So I stopped and then after cutting her hair, I just took it one step after the other. I was, nothing was going into that hair, nothing except shampoo and oil, baby oil. I gave birth to Zita. Zita also come with plenty hair and said, oh God. <laughs> Oh my God! Hey, <laughs> what a prayer answered. And Zita's own. I don't even want to hear them say they say. My Zita is five a, a year and six months now, and you guys, if you see her hair, like if you see Zita's hair, if you see the bees, bees babes hair, the hair is giving me joy. The hair is coiling. The hair is shiny. The hair is soft, soft, soft. What I was using, you guys, was causing baby oil on my sister's hair and that was it causing baby oil i did not remove i did not add first of all maybe how i used to just prep the hair if for instance this is a wash day to saturday uh, usually wash day so what i do is i try as much as possible to wash the hair once in every month mm -hmm. when i had zite i was very very conscious of the product i use on her hair I just stick to one thing. I needed something. I just stick to. I stick to that thing. And the thing that worked for me was causing baby oil because if I apply it, everything just slip. Hair slick. Everything just. You know, just let me say it like oh god. She say marry, marry. Everything will just marry together. <laughs> everything will just go together. They work hand in hand together. So I was so overjoyed, you guys. I was so happy. So now, what do I, how do I used to go about it? Let me, let me just break it down for you guys. 
The product I make use of now is just Dove Baby Shampoo. That is what I've been using from when I gave birth to Zitem. Dove Baby Shampoo and um, um, conditioner. There's this what's the name of this conditioner? So, T U. I'm trying to post. I've forgotten the name of the conditioner. T U T U I. Abi. I've forgotten what is the name of. The, I'll try and post the conditioner by the side, and then cleansing baby oil. These are the three products I use on the on details head. I know it's shocking. It's shocking. It's shocking. But this is just what I use on this girl's hair. Her hair has been, her hair has been amazing. That is just the work. What I do first is if you are carrying any hair, I look the hair at that moment. Try as much as possible to to detangle it with my hand first. That this big. Yellow comb I, I usually use that have big, big teeth so it doesn't paint them. I try to detangle it the more with the comb. But <laughs> that hair to get these children to sit at the place and make their hair is always a struggle. Whether washing, whether combing, anything is always a struggle. So I just I, I, I just take it little by little, portion by portion, so that at least they can cooperate because. If you have a gay child that you can relate, please let me know. I go in first, use the big comb, comb it out a little bit so that I won't waste much time in the bathroom trying to wash it, comb back again and all that. So then, yeah, then that aside, the next thing I do now is to prep the water. While washing their hair, I make use of warm water. I feel, I believe that the warm water will get out the dirty more than when you use cold water. For instance, when you pour, when you pour, um, when you pour hot water into oil, into oil, right? You notice that the oil will come off faster from the plate than when you pour cold water to it. It's like it's sticking it more to it. So, with all the oils being applied on the hair, all the creams being ap applied on the hair, I make use of hot warm water first, at least to get out the dirt, the oil that must have stick to her hair so yeah so i make it of warm water first to wash out her hair and then next thing there is first thing first apply shampoo of course the one thing i like about this dove shampoo is because it lathers so well and it's tear free lathers and it's dermatologically and one thing one thing tested the grammar is too big it's tested <laughs> and you right they say go school you say no so that's one thing I like about it. And even if you use a little quantity, it will still lather for you. So that is what I use. I make use of that. First, I go into the shampoo, massage the hair very well. I have this um, cover, this face cover that they use to while washing kids' hair. But my babies, they don't like it. They use, they usually pull it off. They do. Ah, using it on Zara was always a bad thing. I've, although I've not tried it with Zitem, so I don't know if Zitem will like it, but then I got tired of waiting for Zara to grow up and use this thing, I threw it away. So I've used it before, Zara does not like it, she'll pull it up, she will remove it. So she preferred the water coming to touching her, so I had to throw it away. Then I also have this comb, this, um, bro this brush, this scratch brush for the scalp. But it's not working. I don't know. When you both people here and our hair is not this day, it doesn't work. Only it doesn't even work. I make it of my fingers. I just go into their scalp, massage the scalp very well, scratch the scrub, scratch every scratch shape that needs to be scratched out from there, and then I'll rinse it out. The next thing is to go in with their conditioner. I go in with the conditioner, apply it first. I used to wash the hair the same time inside the same battery. So what I do first is I'll apply the conditioner for, for instance, I apply it here for Zita, and then she will stand up and go and wait. I won't rinse it out at that moment. So I will then move over to Zita. To Why I'm doing that, the essence of me doing that is for me to wait like five minutes for the conditioner to sit, to stay in their hair for like five minutes before washing it out. So that's what I, that's the essence of doing that. So by the time I'll finish applying for Z Zara now, the Zara will stand up, Zita will come back and then I'll pour it, I'll burn, wash it out with the warm water, the warm cold water tap with it. So that's why I make use of buckets. I like using buckets. So I'll be able to scoop water, the warm water while washing their hair. But when it's time to just rinse it, I run tap water on it then. Um, shower water. I just run shower on it. And then that is it. Then that is it for our washing. We don't waste much time in the bathroom while washing hair. 
and then join this part of me running cold water on their head. That's tap, that shower, they say, ah, they enjoy it. We, we can stay there for hours while playing with it. So when dry up their hair, and then I go in with the oil, the cousin oil, like I told you guys about. I go in with the cousin oil for Zara, I go in with coconut oil, which I'm going to stop and just, be, I'll stop it because I'm not getting any difference from it. I make use of coconut oil. So, um, I go in with coconut oil and the real shea butter, but I'm going to stop with coconut oil and focus more on the shea butter. But zitter, zitter hair doesn't have progress, so I just make use of cousin oil and her hair is giving me, it's, it's giving me the vibe. So, that is basically it. And then, most of the time, I leave their hair to just sit. I will not style this, I'm not packing it. I just, at least, let them feel the afro, they rock the afro, we go out, people want to touch their hair, that afro feeling, um, usually half of the time, I style their hair, pack it, if somebody here styles the hair, that's if I'm styling the hair, I just put slide inside the video, the one I'm will just pack it, and then clip it, and put one fine fine clip on it, and we are good to go, so yeah, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, this is how I take care of my girl's hair, oh yeah, this is how I take care of my girl's hair, if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up like subscribe if you want to see more of this video let me know in the comment section if you have more questions for me let me still know in the comment section and i will be, be glad to reply and respond to every of your comments every of your question every of your doubts every of your suggestion i'll be able to take it thank you guys for watching and i will see you all in the next video your girl signing out now bye